Well, hello. Thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in County Monaghan. And we're actually in Clonus Town. And I want to show you the wee Abbey. So I'm going to take you in and show you this. But before I do, I'm going to read a wee bit of information out concerning it. So it says here, the wee Abbey. Were you to travel back in time to the heyday of the monastery founded here by St. Turgenach? In the 6th century, you might be surprised at the activity around you. Monasteries in Ireland were not just places of worship and contemplation. They were the focus of communal life. They were also vibrant centres of education, farming and industry. Pioneers in early technology and agricultural methods. Monks grew their own crops and kept livestock and bees. They brewed beer and ground their own flour to make bread. By the 12th century when St Peter and Paul's Abbey, or the Wee Abbey as it's known locally, was built, many Irish monasteries had become increasingly independent from Rome. The Anglo-Norman invasion of Ireland saw the Irish church being brought back into line with Rome. Perhaps this accounts for the Abbey's Romanesque style. The once extensive monastic settlement here was destroyed following the Protestant Reformation of the 16th century. Even so, monks continued to live in the area throughout the 17th century and the 18th centuries. Following the plantation of Ulster in the 17th century, an English garrison was established within the ruins of the Abbey. So we're going to have a wee look. So this is what's left of it. The wee Abbey. Don't know what age that grave is. This one says, Here left the body of Owen Connolly, who departed this life 1777. So an 18th century grave there. And then this one, this stone burial place belongeth to Roger McMahon and his posterity and it's 1745 that one you can see that plain get another 18th century grave so this is the monastery what's left of it anyway the wee monastery of course when I was here the last time I showed you the big monastery with a round tower and all so you can check that out and you'll see a lot of these even in where the big monastery is a lot of those headstones with the skull and crossbones and whatnot on it i meant to video this the last time i was here but it was just too dark i ran out of daylight so it's good to get back So I'll take a wee walk around it and then we'll wrap this video up. Again, there's another one there with the, the skull and the crossbones. There's a 19th century grave there with the cross on the back of it. Not a big lot of them we all be left, but well, it's good to have this, isn't it? And there's a wooden cross. Not often you see that. Normally they're stone crosses. But that's a wooden one. That's unique. It would remind you of the, the Lord's crucifixion on the wooden Roman cross. There's more skulls, crossbones. So 
So a big history here with the uh, the monastery, the Reformation, and even the plantation with the uh, English garrison stationed here. There's a wee dog. Hello. Hello, boy. Hello, boy. Are you a good fella? Are you a good fella? Hello. You're going to be famous. You're on YouTube. I don't know who's that wee dog is. And he's in for a wee rummage. Hello. So there you go. That's the wee abby. And that's the wee dog. God bless.